the uh, as the EPA looks at changing the uh, blend from E10 to E15, uh, it's really a triple play. Uh, this is good for the environment, good for the economy, and good for our national security. Uh, there is roughly 60 percent uh, lower emissions of greenhouse gases from ethanol as compared to regular gasoline. As uh, Jeff Broin just indicated, in South Dakota alone, you're talking about 2,600 full-time jobs at a time when jobs is the number one challenge facing our state. Uh, and finally, uh, as Jeff talked about at the end of his remarks, I mean, this would this would reduce our foreign oil Im uh, imports by 7 billion gallons. 7 billion gallons, an amazing number. The South Dakota legislature was very cognizant of all these same issues and the benefits that E15 or E20 would provide for our state and our nation when we passed uh, Senate concurrent resolution number 11, uh, which passed unanimously in the uh, Senate and passed in the House with only two dissenting votes. So out of our entire legislature, there were only two members that uh, did not vote in favor of SCR 11, which I was privileged to serve as the prime sponsor of and which Representative Hunoff was a co-sponsor in the House. In summary, I would just like to say that less foreign oil and more American jobs, that's what the EPA will give us if they approve higher ethanol blends. And as a final note, I, I just, you know, the prospects for ethanol, uh, when we consider the potential of cellulose, cellulosic ethanol, just makes ethanol's uh, future uh, even brighter and its benefits for South Dakota and our nation even better. Thank you.